Strategy Management Series Video Number 89 Strategy Formulation Step 7 Strategy Evaluation The Six Paths Framework Welcome back to the Ready MBA Series on Strategy Management. We're currently exploring Strategy Evaluation, the seventh step of the Strategy Formulation process, using the Strategy Choice Cascade Framework. In earlier episodes, we discussed the second step of the framework, where the planning team determines the where to play aspect of the strategy by defining target customers, industry scope, products, and distribution channels. In our previous video, we kicked off the discussion of tools and frameworks proposed by Renee Malborn and W. Chan Kim in their book, Blue Ocean Strategy. We covered Strategy Canvas and the Four Actions Framework. In this video, we will cover the Six Paths Framework, another one of the tools part of the Blue Ocean Strategy book. The framework outlines six different ways to challenge conventional industry boundaries and explore potential blue oceans. It encourages companies to 1. Look across alternative industries for insights and inspiration. 2. Analyze different strategic groups within their industry to identify opportunities for differentiation. 3. Consider the needs of various buyer groups or explore new customer segments. 4. Explore bundling or integrating complementary products, services for added value. 5. Challenge industry norms by offering a holistic value proposition that combines functional and emotional benefits. 6. Anticipate future trends and customer needs to create innovative offerings that shape market trends. By executing the Six Paths Framework, companies are able to 1. Break out of existing boundaries. Traditional strategic thinking focuses on competing within established industry boundaries. The Six Paths Framework encourages businesses to look beyond these boundaries and explore alternative industries, buyer groups, and complementary offerings to identify potential blue oceans. 2. Spark creativity. By considering different perspectives and challenging assumptions, the framework helps businesses unlock new ideas and opportunities for innovation that wouldn't be readily apparent by solely focusing on the existing competitive landscape. 3. Expand market potential. By reconstructing boundaries, businesses can potentially tap into new customer segments or create entirely new markets with minimal competition, leading to significant growth opportunities. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to use it. Step 1. Define your industry scope. Clearly identify the specific industry or market segment you're analyzing. Define the boundaries of your industry to ensure a focused exploration during the framework application. Step 2. Gather information. Conduct market research to understand your industry landscape, including competitor analysis, customer needs assessments, and industry trends. This information will provide a foundational understanding for identifying potential opportunities for breaking boundaries and creating a blue ocean. Step 3. Explore each path. Dedicate time to explore each of the six paths outlined in the framework. 1. Look across alternative industries. Research industries outside your own that might share functionalities, target similar customer needs, or offer innovative solutions. Consider how you can adapt successful elements from these industries to your own offering or create a new value proposition altogether. 2. Look across strategic groups within industry. Analyze different strategic groups within your industry. These groups might be defined by size, target market, or business model. Identify opportunities to differentiate yourself from existing groups by catering to underserved segments or offering a unique value proposition. 3. Look across buyer groups. Consider the needs of different buyer groups within your industry. Are there potential new customer segments you haven't explored yet? Analyze the needs of adjacent buyer groups or even entirely new markets to identify potential blue oceans. 4. Look across complementary product and service offerings. Consider complementary products or services that customers might use alongside your offering. Explore ways to bundle these offerings or integrate them seamlessly to create a more comprehensive and valuable solution. 5. Look across the functional-emotional orientation of an industry. 
Analyze the industry's focus on either functional benefits or emotional appeal. Does your industry primarily focus on solving problems, functional, or creating a certain feeling or experience, emotional? Consider how you can create a more holistic offering that caters to both functional needs and emotional desires of customers. 6. Look across time to shape trends. Analyze emerging trends in your industry and beyond. What are the changing customer needs and expectations in the future? By anticipating future trends, you can create a blue ocean that caters to evolving market demands and positions you for long-term success. Step 4. Brainstorm and evaluate ideas. For each path you explore, brainstorm specific ideas on how you can leverage it to create a blue ocean. Consider how you can de-emphasize over offered factors, create entirely new value propositions, or attract new customer segments. Evaluate the potential of each idea based on its feasibility, market attractiveness, and alignment with your overall strategy. Step 5. Prioritize and develop. Prioritize the most promising ideas that hold the most potential for creating a blue ocean. Based on your chosen ideas, develop a concrete plan to implement your Blue Ocean strategy. This might involve product or service innovation, new marketing approaches, or business model changes. Step 6. Monitor and adapt. Continuously monitor the market response and customer feedback as you implement your Blue Ocean strategy. Be prepared to adapt your approach based on real-world results and evolving market conditions. Additional tips. Involve stakeholders. Get input from different departments, marketing, sales, product development, during each step of the process to ensure a well-rounded perspective. Challenge assumptions. Don't be afraid to question existing industry norms and explore unconventional ideas. Blue ocean opportunities often lie outside the traditional way of thinking. Think creatively, combine different paths and explore possibilities at the intersection of various perspectives to generate truly innovative ideas. By following these steps and incorporating these tips, you can effectively utilize the Six Paths framework to move beyond traditional competition and position your business for success in a blue ocean market space. And this concludes our episode about the Six Paths framework, to help the planning team identify new blue oceans where to compete and execute the strategy being evaluated. Please be sure to check our next episodes where we will continue reviewing more blue ocean strategy tools. Until then, keep strategizing. See you soon.